In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to intensify eyes using dodging and burning inside of Photoshop. Let's go ahead and get to it. Over the Layers panel, I'm going to start by adding a new blank layer. Next, I'm going to go up to Edit, Fill, and I'm going to fill this with 50% gray. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then in the blending mode in that Layers panel, I'll change it down to Overlay. With a gray layer set to overlay, it hides all of the gray, but if you paint with white on the image, it will brighten it, and if you paint with black on the image, it will darken it, which is how we're going to achieve this effect. I'll start out by pressing the B key to take me to my brush tool. Then I'm going to reduce the brush size using that left bracket key. Next, in the opacity setting at the top, I'd like to set that fairly low. I'm going to do that quickly using the number keys, so I'll press 1, which sets the opacity at 10%. I'd also like to make sure that I'm painting with black and white, so in the toolbar on the left, I can see that I have two different colors set as my foreground and background colors. So on my keyboard, I'm going to press D, which defaults those to black as my foreground and white as my background, and then at any time, I can toggle those back and forth by pressing that X key. I'm going to go ahead and start out with white, and let's go ahead and brighten up those eyes. I'll reduce the brush key just a little bit there, and I'm just going to start brushing inside of the eye. I'll do it on the other one. Now let's go ahead and toggle this layer on and off to see how that looks. Next, I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit. And I'm just going to sweep across underneath her eye just to remove some of those dark areas. Let's check our progress again by toggling that eyeball on that layer on and off. Now I'm going to change my brush from white to black, so I'll press the X key, and I'm also going to reduce the brush size quite a bit. Now I'm going to intensify and darken the top and lower parts of her eyes. So I'm just making a few brush strokes over the top and bottom portions of her eyelid. Let's go ahead and toggle that on and off. So it really just took a few steps to make a really good impact on the intensity of her eyes in Photoshop. 